Hi guys, last week we did a thorough cleaning on the shower. I'm gonna show you this week on how I take care of my sink. Your sink is not only for washing dirty dishes, but it's also a major food prep area. Let's go to work. Hey guys, this is the perfect way to use that old expired baking soda that's in your fridge and I just love putting it to use like this. Grab an old bottle cleaning brush. You know, everyone seems to have one around the house somewhere. Or you can just get the pots and pans brush from the Dollar Tree. Both of these came from the Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, when you have an event and you have cups or glasses of ice sitting around at the end, guess what? Put those to use as well. And then of course, you always need Lysol in your house. Get rid of all those germs, you know. Now here is our classic, the SOS pad. Put the water on warm and simply scrub it down. Go into all of those crevices and just scrub. What you're trying to get rid of is any food debris that's maybe stuck and maybe little glues in your sink. You want to just give it a good, good scrub down. Now just because you washed the dishes and wiped the sink down doesn't mean you got rid of all the oils and residue. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Now when it comes to your trash disposal, it can really be a haven for germs. So you definitely want to clean this area at least once a week. Give it a really good cleaning. Think about it, you're throwing away food and sometimes it splatters up against the sink. You give it a quick rinse sometimes with just the water faucet and that can not always be enough when you're talking about little sprays of juices from meats or things like that splattering all over your sink and that can easily contaminate other foods. Reach in, pull up this rubber part, stick in your brush, and raise that all the way around. All the way around. Cleaning underneath. And the other alternative you have is to use a bottle brush. And rub all the way down in the bottom. It cleans your blades as well as around the side. So those are your two choices that you have. And it also cleans your blades. Now I also like to do a gentle scrub to the top side of that rubber guard there. Now if you like ice water, you want to turn on the waste disposal and pour down a glass of water. That also cleans your blades. Now your waste disposal could need a detox. All you have to do is fill the sink about halfway with warm water, pour in a half box of that old baking soda, just mix it a little bit with your hand, turn on the unit, pull the plug, and that will clean out the pipes. Now I would recommend this baking soda rinse at least once a month or as needed. And last but not least, throw your sink plugs and stoppers into your dishwasher. It's a great way to sanitize those things for the repeated washes that you put them through. And if that's not going to be your normal, then simply use the small end of that bottle cleaner. It works like a charm. So friends, that's it for this week's video. I did do an earlier video with how to clean those large walk-in showers, as well as how to clean out those dryer vents and ducts. And the reason why I do things like this is because when I got my first home, I was clueless. I was so concerned with the actual structure itself that I was not concerned with the mechanics of it. And I learned the hard way. And I wanna help someone to value what they have structurally as well as mechanically, and then they can maintain the value 
value of what they've invested in. I do appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. I've got a few more of the spring cleaning frenzy for 2016 videos to share with you. Thanks a lot for watching and as always stay in prayer and stay creative.